Welcome back, Patriots. Let's get started on our Chapter 6 review. Now, what I want you to do on every single one of these sections as you're going through, make sure you're reading the bold sections so you can tell particularly what shape you're dealing with. In this top one, I've already under, underlined the word parallelogram. Now, remember that the word parallelogram entails five different pieces of information all within that one single word. You know that your opposite sides are parallel, so top and bottom, left and right are parallel with each other. Also, opposite sides are congruent, top and bottom, left and right are equal to each other. We also know that our diagonals bisect each other, so here these two pieces would be congruent, and then also these two would be congruent. We also know as our fourth property that opposite angles are congruent, so here the greater angle M, so OMN, is congruent to, actually that's a Q, QPN, um, so opposite angles are congruent, both the acutes and the obtuses. And we also know that consecutive angles, so here o, I'm sorry, Q, P, N, and P, N, M are supplementary, so they add to 180 degrees. That word parallelogram entails all of those in a single word. So let's use what we need. Um, it says that Q, M, and I'm going to go ahead and label that as a Q so I stop making that mistake. Q, M is 4X plus 6, so that's this side here. And PN over here is 5x plus 4. Well, opposite sides we know are congruent. So in order to solve for this, we're going to set QM equal to PN and then solve for x. Once I know my x value, I'm going to substitute in to QM to find my final answer. So 4x plus 6 is equal to 5x plus 4. Now we're going to collect all of our x's on one side and numbers on the other. Let's go ahead and subtract 4x on both sides. And at the same time, subtract 4 from both sides. That's going to cause these two sets to subtract out. 6 minus 4 is 2, and 5x minus 4x is x. Now, don't go fall for the temptation to say I got x equals, I'm done. We've got to go back over here and substitute in to do 4 times 2 plus 6. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 6 is 14. So QM equals 14 is my final answer.